G'day guys, it's Nashi Sims and today we are here with another speed build. So I found this object in debug that was this giant old gas station and it basically inspired this entire build if I'm being honest. So essentially I I just like the idea of an abandoned um, petrol slash gas station um, that uh, was kind of converted into a old school kind of bar, I guess. So a lot of this is debug, but yes, so essentially I have turned this into some kind of bar. Um, so I was trying to make it kind of match with this debug object as best as I could. Um, I mean, it was a little bit finicky to work with because it did have that random like chunk like attached to the building and I was trying to make it blend in as best as I could. Um, but yeah, so essentially I was trying to make it seem like it was this kind of abandoned um, gas station that had been overtaken by some of the locals and turned into like a uh, kind of like a hidden gem that the locals know about like a secret kind of bar situation I guess um but I had so much fun finishing this build um and I know that the Strangeville pack as a whole is fairly contested in terms of like it actually like its value and gameplay and all those other things but honestly the build buy stuff in the Strangeville pack is honestly some of my favorite stuff to work with like I love the whole rundown kind like kind of desert aesthetic that it has going for it I absolutely adore it and I just love these kinds of builds um I don't know why I just really enjoy sort of doing your rundown desert builds and I really like Strangerville as a world I think it's a really really cool space um and I just think that it's a really cool atmosphere and it's a really clever purely as a world um the actual gameplay like it, it's fun but it is kind of a thing that you can kind of get the gist of that pretty quickly I guess um but yeah build by 100% I am so there for stranger Phil. <laughs> um but yeah so I was trying to find as many rundown signs to try and make it blend in as much as possible and it is about this point where I was thinking oh do I try and build the gas station kind of myself because the debug object was as much as I loved it it was annoying me a little bit and then I found that you could just get the sails and like the the roof sail and um, the gas station like the little pumps and that made me really excited because then it gave me so much more space to like go ahead and play with like an awning and a veranda where you kind of like I would imagine that you have like your your old coots of the town kind of sitting there just kind of watching who's coming past and um just observing and being suspicious of general you know tourists and all of that jazz <laughs> I don't know I just have this very specific image in my mind um about the kind of folks who would be sitting there like an old guy with a pipe and maybe like with like one eye and some and a bastard jacket or something I don't know I yeah I had a lot of um I had a lot of ideas as to what kind of people would be hanging around here and I know that this build is currently in Oasis Springs but I think ideally it should probably go in Strangerville um, because I do use a lot of the stuff from Strangerville as I said before um, but yeah basically I wanted to go for a really rundown kind of vibe um, that's kind of been overtaken by a bunch of locals who found this abandoned space and were wanting to utilize it as you know the old watering hole so to speak <laughs> I feel like that's probably the best way to describe it I don't know but I just wanted to kind of go with a really tacky dingy kind of like all the neon signs and you know grabbing a bunch of thong slash flip-flops as decorative pieces um yeah I just I kind of just went to town with all these random objects that I wouldn't normally use and another item I found in debug were the, like, if your sim has the handiness skill and the um, woodworking bench, 
they can um, make like your own furniture and like their own stools and whatever but I found the sort of the questionable quality ones and I just thought that was absolutely perfect for this build so I used them all the way through but in here I also wanted to stick in one of the Strangerville plants because I just felt like it was appropriate and I was trying to make it sit look like it just kind of been sat in a pot so it does clip a little bit but honestly it for me I just decided it was worth it, the aesthetic <laughs> um one thing I do wish that the sims 4 had more of is like graffiti options like I like I mean I love street art I think that street art is awesome and that um people who can do it well are just insanely talented um but yeah more options would be great but yes so back to the um handmade stools and chairs um I kind of wanted to give it the vibe that they'd kind of you know that the people who run this space kind of shove some chairs together with some random pieces of wood and um and that it's just kind of slightly falling apart but not and I also wanted to use the cracked TV screen because I could also imagine that somebody like in some kind of like semi-drunk rage or something like threw something at a television and that every time you come into here there's like a slightly passive aggressive um instruction from the bartender being like hey don't chuck don't chuck things at the TV like just don't break it like don't <laughs> um I don't know I feel like that this would also be like the place where you'd have like a classic like pub brawl like absolute absolute punch fest I feel like that if anywhere it was going to happen it would be somewhere like here like slightly dingy slightly slightly dark and I wanted to add a little bit of a darts um a darts board because I if they had pool tables in the sims I would 100% have put a pool table in but they don't so I just have to work with that but uh yeah so I I honestly love this build I just I love like I basically just went to town with all the weird things I could possibly find and again it's a very strange build pack heavy build but I yeah I've had way too much fun with this <laughs> um and I used a lot of and I put like a little busking bit there so if there's like some random oldie with a guitar or something that just wants to chill out you know I was kind of going for like a modern western sort of situation I guess and also I decided to go with tacky flamingos because why not? Uh, <laughs> I've never used the flamingos in any of my builds before, but honestly, I just think they're fun. So I just shoved them in there. But yeah, we're moving to screenshots and um, ultimately the, the first couple of screenshots, um, I did end up having to change the wall height for what I originally built because I didn't realize that the bar was actually slightly too tall. So um, I did change the wall height to medium wall height, but ultimately i was super stoked with how this turned out and it was just super fun and yeah if you want me to see do more builds like this let me know in the comments and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye